What's up everybody? This is uh, Autopilot Beats. I had somebody on YouTube uh, had everything set up in their mixer to record vocals in and uh, I have something set up right here. You can see I'm feeding through and uh, he had it to where he his track is on so you can obviously see, you see the floppy disk icon right here. That's indicating the track is on for recording and uh, <clears throat> you know if you're not familiar with arm and your track I'm gonna go ahead and show you right quick. All you got to do is go ahead, right click over it, uh, specify it to whatever folder you want to put it in. And I think I have a folder called test. We're just going to use this test folder. We're going to assume this test folder is our project or whatever. And uh, you name it accordingly. Normally, if you have your everything set up a certain way, it'll be named for you already. But whatever. It is what it is. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and click save for, for uh, <clears throat> tutorial reasons. For, uh, explanation purposes you know what I mean I lost words anyhow my man had, the guy that got in touch got in touch with me he was like please help me I don't know what's going on he sees that the track is on he pressed record and uh, y'all not gonna hear the playback of the audio cuz uh, in order for this to visual for y'all to see a visual aid of this uh, working you won't hear the audio because on my Contasia uh, screen recorder it won't record audio and me commentary but at the same time, it just won't unless I put it on primary sound card and that wouldn't work. But let's get right to it again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press, I'm gonna press uh, play while it's, as you can see, the track is armed. The track is armed. I got record already on there. And he would, he would, it would just go. And you see me talking. The track's going and going and I'm talking. You know. I'm saying shit, it should show up on a playlist, press nothing. And he did not know why or understand why it was doing that. So, my fellow, uh, whoever you are, I forgot your screen name, this is how you would go about doing it. And this also goes for everyone else that wants to know how to keep, how to keep the track, how to make sure your track stays on for the audio, is you would simply right click over record. You see you got automation scoring automation score and audio you want to make sure audio is clicked so you left click over it bam now to make sure it is uh, checked you just right click over it again and you'll see that it's checked now don't left click over it again just left click out in some empty space somewhere and if you do that just right click over that <laughs> and um, <clears throat> you should as you see you're, you're good to go audio is set you ain't got to worry about automation and score being recorded, so you can actually tweak uh, parameters while you're recording somebody in your studio session. So now we see that it's it's checked. Go ahead and, it better yet, left click in the gray space right here. That way you don't accidentally do that, you know, and add, add uh, the same clip again. And uh, when you uh, press play in the recording, you should, it should pick up my, my uh, wave. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three blah 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 and let's see what we got bam see that's all you had to do and uh that's really that's all there is to it so if you so uh you know that your tracks armed you press record nothing's coming in and you see everything's in place you just got to make sure you right click over this make sure audio is checked and uh if you want to say you're you got the track armed and you want to do like cool little effects um on the playback that way you ain't gotta uh, unarm the track all you gotta do is right click left click over the audio and that'll indicate audio is not be is not the one that's being armed you you want to do automation you just left click over automation and to check that it's there it's it's obviously click it's already obviously checked so you just left click in that gray space right there and that means you you don't have to worry about making it to where you have to unarm the track and worry about recording all uh, unnecessary audio on top of automation and uh, you know you know I had a video prior uh, prior way back saying I'm not, I wasn't sure how to keep the track on but then I had some youtubers school me and I never did get around to making a video uh, this is how you would make sure the track stays armed you just right click over this and as far as audio goes and you just left click on that audio see it's right there and score Score would be uh, piano roll stuff. So uh, you want to record MIDI data from some samples you threw into uh, 
the pattern sequencer or good all we like the kick and all that stuff um, and you want to record with that that would be considered score so you would you know you could take off the audio make sure the tracks on you do everything in real time while you have your artist in the uh, booth if you want to beef up a track so that's it that's how you make sure your track stays on you just right click over record click audio double check it by right clicking again click out in the gray space to see the check because if you uh, right click again and be like oh, okay it's 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 checked and then you you left click it again it's gonna uncheck it same with this so we just want to make sure audio is checked and we're checking it make sure it's checked click out in the gray space as opposed to clicking audio again with the left click and that's how you make sure your track stays on that's autopilot beats saying comment rate subscribe i'll see you on the next video peace